What's up, fantasy people? This is Tyler Big Turd Ward and Jason, the lucky bastard youth and wolf, coming at you live from two different states. And uh, this is the fantasy footballing show. Two so different anyways, states, one time. <laughs> simu simu simultaneously podcast, a simocast. That's what I was trying to think of what they call it. Um, but anyways, so this is the uh, weekend wrap-up show where Jason and I just kind of go over the most important uh, fantasy games from yesterday. And uh, anyways, so we're going to – Jason, how did fantasy treat you this weekend? Uh, it treated me great. Well, actually, it treated my opponent great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I went against Devontae Smith, dude. Like, I didn't even think people were starting Devontae Smith anymore. And then all of a sudden, I was like, dude got like 170 yards and a touchdown yeah yeah some cr pretty uh nice grabs in that game yeah it was awesome it just seems like dude, i'm going against tyree kill and tua or Devonte smith and this it's like perfect yeah. storm dude it's just crazy how did your team do uh my team came down to me needing points from javante williams and uh Cortland sutton but we'll talk to that we'll talk about them in a, in, in a minute like right now, you Jason, to do the, the 49ers and the Broncos game. Yeah, since it was Sunday night. Yeah. Uh, it was fresh on people's mind. Uh, what, I have a question that's like because of that game, you know, watching it. And it's, now I'm thinking, because uh, I have Russell Wilson in two leagues, uh, should I bench Russell Wilson? Am I going to be right. benching this player now? He's not doing too great. Three games so Aaron, in. Oh, go yeah. on. So Aaron Rodgers, are you asking me a question or are you asking who a question? No, I'm just saying in general. Oh, I thought you were asking me a question. I was like, dude, I have an answer for this. Well, let me hear your answer because I also I have Aaron Rodgers on my bench. Oh, well, that's so funny because my answer involves Aaron Rodgers. So, you know, Nathaniel Hackett, he was the uh, new offensive coordinator after um, they got rid of McCarthy and everything mm -hmm. in 2019. So and Aaron Rodgers went 57 for 93 for 647 yards four touchdowns and seven sacks in the first three games 2022 russell wilson has 63 compared to 70 uh anyways he's uh, only completed 63 passes compared to a rod's you know 57 uh a rod had 647 yards now wilson has 743 a rod had four touchdowns but you know wilson has two touchdowns and he has and wilson has two more sacks than a rod have but they both struggled mightily in their you know in the first three games with this new offense so you got to give it a little bit of time what happened in the fourth game i didn't check because i was working but <laughs> i'm assuming since that stat was pulled for three games he went off <laughs> well you know whenever they're trying to make these stats they usually make them for more but maybe not because there was uh there's only been three games for russell wilson as well so i don't know man good question um well they play against uh, the raiders next week the Broncos. Yeah, which is good. Yeah. I was like, that might be one more time that I play him because I think uh, Aaron Rodgers is going against New England next week. Yeah, well, that might be a messed up game just because, uh, well, Brian Hoyer, Hoyer is serviceable, but it, but it looks like, you know, Mac Jones is going to be out. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, dude. Anyways, so Jimmy Garoppolo looked terrible in this game, just like Russell Wilson. Well, Jimmy looked good in, uh, what, the first, like, two drives. I yeah. was like, oh, wow. Like, I'm like, Jimmy's back. Okay. He's back. We should clarify on this. He was good until Trent Williams went out. Yeah. Those, uh, so, like, those yeah. tackles make a huge difference. Well, Trent Williams has been, like, the best tackle in the league for, I mean, uh, you know, Tyron Smith or whatever, but he's been, like, oh. one of the best tackles in the league for, like, 10 years. Yeah. So going forward, is this like the Jimmy we're going to see? Because he is rusty, but I think it's going to affect – like it's going to be the biggest deal. Because, I mean, I was listening to everybody's um, – like Chris Long on well, – anyways, all these ex-NFL people on the Rich Eisen show today. And uh, they were like, what's your big takeaway? What's your big takeaway? And he's like, dude, big takeaway is Trent Williams is out for, you know, maybe the season or whatever. And, like, that's going to change everything for the 49ers. Yeah. And if you look at it, you're right, dude. Like, I, I just – I hated watching that game, and I just I was like, dude, both these quarterbacks suck, man. I hate it. But you're right. Jimmy Garoppolo was good until 
Trent Williams went out, and then it just he just looked terrible. Yeah, uh, the Broncos were able to get like four sacks, two fumbles, and uh, interception. Broncos defense is good. Yeah, they and lived they, up to the hype. Their offense they were, is not. They were in Denver. They just the offense couldn't do anything. Uh, Russell Wilson was like twenty for thirty three, only one hundred eighty six yards. He averaged five point six yards of airtime for a throw. <laughs> no, so he's Deacon and Duncan. Yeah. But at least he's like, I, I mean, I had Portland Sutton. I was happy with Portland Sutton. And pretty soon he's going to, Portland Sutton's going to start catching uh, touchdowns whenever they get the red zone stuff figured out. Yeah, they're still struggling in the red zone. Yeah. Uh, Jerry, yeah. Sutton had 10, 10 targets. Well, you own Jerry Judy, right? Yeah. He had six targets, but only two catches for 17 Did yards. you watch that? Game? Did you watch the game? Yeah. So I, I, I look watching Jerry Judy, it's like, I don't know. He seems like as long as everything goes right, he will get the ball. And as long as nobody's around him, he will do well. I mean, I know that one huge touchdown was when somebody was on him and they all they both tripped or whatever. But, like, I don't know, man. He just doesn't seem like he's going to fight for the ball, fight for extra yards. Um, well, he's a smaller guy than Sutton, too. Yeah, I don't know, man. He's just he, – he just doesn't – I've never seen, like – CeeDee Lamb has looked good sometimes. i just never seen Jerry Judy just flash. Um, well, I wonder if his uh, rib was also kind of bothering him a little bit. Like every time I saw Judy get like knocked down or something like that, I always thought he was going to get injured. Yeah, in the you're, game. You're, you're right. And then um, Jeff Wilson, I thought looked really good. He averaged over six yards carry. He got, he, I mean, he caught three passes. Yeah, he had that fumble. Yeah, that ended the game. But I mean, that was kind of like a desperation play or whatever. Yeah, Jeff Wilson, uh, he looked good. That uh, especially in the very beginning, you know, he had a huge like, what, 30, 40 yard run in like the first quarter or something like that. Yeah. And it's it's great when your running back can also catch uh passes out of the backfield to even. Yeah, he, and he looks good. And uh, and I was watching Jordan Mason try to see if he was going to come in, and you know, he got seven yards of carry on his first one, and that's the last he saw of him. So you know who they looked bad as a running back was Debo Samuel. Yeah, five for six. Yeah, maybe he thinks maybe in his mind he's like they've been using me too much. Maybe if I'm just terrible, or maybe uh, like defenses are starting to figure him out, like what they do. Well, like dude, if he goes in the backfield, let's uh, you know, focus on Debo. Yeah, yeah. But at the same time, did he, maybe he got these rushes after Trent Williams went out. I didn't pay attention to that. I thought Brandon Aiken was a uh, yo Aiken Ayuk Ayuk Ayuk. I thought he was going to have a monster game because he started off hot too. Yeah, he had eight targets, but Jimmy, I mean, as soon as uh, yeah. Trent Williams went down, dude, that was it. So change, change the whole game. Who knows? We need to see what this is, you know, this offense is going to look like passing wise without Jimmy, Trent Williams. Jimmy was so scared that he didn't have Trent Williams. He ran out of the end zone. Well, and he's coming off a of surgery, shoulder surgery. You know, he doesn't want to get hit. So now, he, and then he just lost his all time best friend. So it's just like, uh, it's tough. They kept on showing his brothers, Garoppolo's brothers up in the stands. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> like, who are these dudes? Yeah. One kind of looked like him, and one looked like I know, yeah, some guy that works on my software or whatever. That brother. Well, actually, I've got all kinds of people that work on my software, so I don't know what that means. Um, um, George Niner. Kittle, though. George Kittle, first game I back. For, I was he looked good, mm -hmm. and I was waiting. I was waiting for it, but it could have been the Trent Williams thing. They just he, got, he only got those five targets and twenty eight yards, you know. So I know it got to a point where they were using him to block a lot there at the end. Until they actually needed to make something. They were, like, using Kettle. Yeah. And I thought Gordon looked like trash relative to Javante. I thought Javante looked amazing. Oh, yeah, Javante Williams. He's going to do his thing. He just – like Broncos got to work out. They got to work something out for the red zone. Yeah, and they kept on using that Boone butthead. I want to say a-hole. Whatever, dude. Um, that Boone guy was yeah. upsetting quite a bit. He had, like, 20% of uh, snaps or something like that I saw today. So that's new. That was just uh, uh, that whole thing is frustrating right now. I wanted to buy into that division and the Chargers, you know, and everything's just kind of mm, it's kind of you think you know stuff, man. Like you I, know. The season. I know and the NFL just flips itself so fast. Well, the one uh, both defenses and the Sunday night game did pretty well. I think they both got around like 10 points. The no. uh, Broncos defense, they got four sacks interception. Only 10 points allowed, two fumbles. The 49ers defense got uh, four sacks and only allowed 11 points. 
So yeah, and last thing yeah. I'll say about that, see that, yeah, both those defenses like I mean are great. Both those both those are great defenses. Yeah. And the last thing I'll say for fantasy wise is uh, Albert O. You, you can just drop him that tied in for the because uh, they're going to have um, I forget what his name coming back soon. And uh, yeah, do you know what I'm talking about? People were talking about picking him up. He was a tight end for the for Denver. He had like eight receptions last week. Albert O. So, was he the one that had the touchdown too? I think so. So, yeah. Uh, but yeah, so he only had two targets. Didn't didn't even catch, or he had one for twelve. So I wouldn't worry about. It. Is you want to point the direction to the next game, Jason? Or you want me to? Do? Well, I want to go into the Jets Bengals game, and the reason why is because uh, Garrett Wilson, you know, had a. Uh, big game last week. I wanted to see if it was going to continue. And then the Bengals are playing against a weaker defense, as you say. So I wanted to see how the line were going to hold up and the running game. Mm. Um, disappointed all over the board. Yeah. Uh, well, H- <laughs> Higgins and Chase, they did well. They both had uh, – Chase had like 10 targets. Higgins had seven targets. Well, yeah, they, Chase was getting shut out early, right? Yeah, he even had a fumble. Okay. He was negative there for a second. All right. Um, Mixon, he oh, it's gonna be a long year for Mixon owners. Uh, twelve rushes for twenty-four yards. He averaged two yards a carry. He did get three receptions for fourteen on seven targets. Uh, <laughs> you I started thought, him. Right? Oh yeah, yeah, of course. Against the Jets, I would have too. And I, yeah, I thought he was gonna have a big game, especially when they had the lead. I thought they were just gonna run the ball and then. They, they couldn't even do it. Even when they had the lead, they were trying to, like, milk the clock. They couldn't do it by running. They were stopping Mixon. Uh, Sam J. P. Ryan, though, he uh, he did pretty well. Yeah, well, he had that touch, that, what, 10, 15-yard touchdown. Yeah. No, I mean, <sighs> his, long was, his long was seven, and he still averaged, you know, five yards, over five yards of carry. Oh, it's like, it, it, is he something, is somebody you start now? Oh, I, I, so. I would start Sam J. P. Ryan if Joe Mixon misses time. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. But that even from what I've seen, I didn't see it. Didn't seem like that was that serious of an injury, right? The mm-hmm. ankle. All these injuries this this week are coming back is not serious. You know, every everybody thought everybody was done for the season, and now it's coming back. Not so. I think um, uh, one spotlight uh, for the Jets is uh, Bryce Hall. Yeah, no, Bryce Hall's looking good. Um, he Especially just when he needs- catch the ball out of the outfield. Well, if you Backfield. notice, he, he was getting at all the targets, and now he's getting most. I mean, it's all. I mean, he didn't. He got. I know he didn't get all the carries, but it's going to start. It's shifting towards him, yeah. Because usually, it's supposed to be Michael Carter's the pass catching uh, running back, and so I thought it was interesting that he had eleven targets, you know, whereas Michael Carter only had two. You know, that's, yeah. that's huge. So I mean, Michael Carter. That's that was supposed to be his role. So if Brees Hall is going to be taking over the pass catching role, I'd rather have that then worry about New York Jets rushing totals, you know? So mm-hmm. um, I'm tr- I'm going to continue to try to trade for Brees Hall. I think he might win somebody something at the end of the year. Yeah, because you know the Jets are always going to be playing from behind, too. They're going to have to play. Yeah, and he's, super, and, he's super tal- and he's super talented. So, um, And then what do you think about Elijah Moore, Jason? You just have to hold on until Zach Wilson gets there? Is, is that, Okay, so I'm glad that you brought that up because I'm just like, is that the case? And if so, does that mean Garrett Wilson's uh, value is going to drop? Like, Garrett Wilson, he went out with an injury. He came back in, but he still he was 6 for 60 with 10 targets. Right. But I'm like, that's with Joe Flacco. Yeah. You know? What's going to happen when Wilson comes back? Is he got the role's going to switch? Well, I don't think the passing volume is going to be there. Yeah. I don't think the passing volume is going to be there. I think Elijah Moore might have better chemistry with Wilson, and he's probably going to yeah. per- perform very well in the next couple of weeks. Because uh, Elijah Moore has been on our waivers, and I would pick him up just to see what happens when uh, Wilson comes in. I ended up, but I ended up picking up that number one, that Jameis Williams, I think, and put him in on my IR. He's that. He's for the Lions. We'll t- I can talk about that with you some other time, though. Okay. Um, but Joe Burrow is back. Looks, and I was watching. I was watching his offensive line. Give him a lot of. T- it looked like they gave him a lot of time to throw. Now is that the Jets have been playing pretty good defense? Not, not pretty good, but what? Not terrible. So, well, they got himself. Joe Flacco had like 160 yards and like two or three touchdowns in the first quarter. Yeah, you know. No, oh, win. Oh, wait, this one. Yeah, Dude, got, Joe Flacco had 
no uh, touchdowns. Joe Burrow, sorry. Joe Burrow. Oh, I was like, what? Not Flacco. Yeah. Burrow. Too many too Joes. Many, too many Joe Joes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So even the announcer's like, he's on pace for 600 yards. Yeah. Uh, but after that, he really slowed down a lot. Well, they didn't need it. You know, they, I, I figured that was going to be a Joe Mixon game. I did too. And then you're I, just looking at it like slip through your fingers. And, you know, this Tyler Boyd, Boyd, would you pick up Tyler Boyd, chase the points? I mean, that I – his touchdown wasn't like, you know, he was in the end zone. He actually had a break, uh, two tackles. That's how Boyd's going to be. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's how you're going to get his touchdowns with him. He's not going to get yeah. as many targets or receptions as Higgins or Chase. Um, if you're in a super deep league, I would do Boyd. Because I think the passing is going to be there for the Bengals. Because I think they're not going to be able to run, so they're going to have to pass. So probably there's going to be games where they're also going to be playing from behind a little bit. Just because until their defense starts doing well. Which they did at the end of the game. They started playing well at the end of the game. They got some sacks and uh, fumbles. Something that the Browns going to do last week. Uh, I think... If you're going to get Boyd, might have to be in a deeper league. I was still either one, Higgins or Chase. Yeah, Higgins think, might even be like a wide receiver number one if you want, like on your team. Higgins is going to get you like the higher floor than Chase, but Chase will like get 30 points or 40 points. Yeah. And I think Tyler Boyd's going to have, you know, he was kind of like this last year. He's going to have uh, two more. You know, he's he's going to have a couple big games in his season, and this is one, one of them. So I wouldn't. Uh-huh. I wouldn't worry too much about picking them up unless you're super desperate in a 16 man league or something. Or something yeah, like yeah, that. yeah. I agree. Agree. You know, Jamar Chase, he's still, I mean, he had 29 yards, but he still had 10 targets, like you said. So yeah. Volumes maybe people there. will start. Yeah. I mean, and the one touchdown I saw of him, he looked, he was wide open. So, oh, God. Yeah. The Jets, for some reason, were like, hey, let's double team Mixon out of, uh, instead of Chase. <laughs> Chase was like, whatever. Right. Right open in the end zone. It's like that would have been some bad communication there on the jet side. And if you have Michael Carter wondering what to do with him, I wouldn't I, – I, I would drop him for somebody, try to chase something else. Yeah, I would drop him but, too. But you know what? If Brees Hall goes down, he would be a low-end RB2 probably. Yeah. So – because I think Brees Hall could be a high-end RB2, even with, uh, you know, Michael Carter Williams there. Yeah. At the Start, end of it. I'm starting to like Hall. Yeah, uh, and then, uh, Corey Davis didn't, you know, people told you that was don't chase that last week, and they were right. Mm-hmm. And then Tyler Conklin, they call him Gronklin. You see that he went eight for six, eight for 84? He's been killing it. Yeah, well, that happened when Wilson went out. Oh, oh, right, okay. I see what you're saying. So that they started just put, giving it all to him. Yeah, when Gary Wilson went out. They started uh, shifting their targets. Okay, because I was I was gonna say like, yeah, I mean I would start him on a weekly basis until uh, until Zach Wilson comes back, and then I would then I'd be worried. Yeah, because this guy's he's just a check down guy. I, I can't remember what Zach Wilson does. I just remember as a Michael Carter owner, uh, he sucked. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted I wanted anybody else but Zach Wilson in there. We're gonna have to see what happens when Zach Wilson comes back, which might be next week. I know that's what the word is. Yeah. Um, so anyway, uh, I think what a an interesting game that we need to definitely talk about was how the Dolphins defeated the Bills. Oh yeah. Uh, I think like uh, the Bills are so used to cold weather right now when they go down to Miami and it's hot. It was muggy. Half their team they, were, were cramping up. Even like they said it was 120. Games. They said it was 120 on the field. Yeah, and you know the Dolphins are like, we practice in this, man. I was like, practice. I was born in the darkness. Practice. I was born in the heat. You simply adopted it. <laughs> you think heat is? Well, I was born in Bakersfield, man. My yeah. eyebrows were singed when I came out of the womb. Mm-hmm. They uh. <laughs> bills. It's not funny. That's funny, man. I did laugh. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> bills. Uh, half their team were cramping up. Uh, Diggs didn't do too well. He was on and off the field, you know, stretching, doing what he needed to do. Uh, I think because of that, they also actually played pretty decent uh, defense on Diggs. Dolphins but, defense is legit. Um, Isaiah McKenzie did pretty well in that game. 
Yeah. So I think he's the uh, he, he finally broke out in that this game. Like you don't care about Crowder. Yeah. I wouldn't care about Crowder. I would try to get pick up McKenzie if I could. And bye bye uh, Crowder. He's not going to have all these touchdowns like this. I think because Gabe Davis was definitely hobbled. I shouldn't have started Gabe Davis, but God, dude, I wanted all the pieces in that game I could. So. Well, Diggs still had 11 targets, but he just – he wasn't really able – with only seven receptions for 76 yards, he wasn't able to have a Diggs-like game. But, like I said, he was on and off the field cramping up, and they were playing pretty good defense on him. It was crazy, got, dude. But, down. you know, like – yeah, and you say he's had 11 targets. Well, dude, Josh Allen threw it 63 times. Yeah, 63 times. They don't even care about running the ball. They do not care I, about running the ball at yeah. all. I started Tua, and he threw the ball 18 times, and I was – it's crazy man well he might not well there might be something going on where he might not play that next week or there might be a fine i have information i have information okay okay here we go here we go uh, mcdaniels says tua is sore nursing ankle soreness and too early to tell if he will go thursday night so he's oh. so he's, he's nursing ankle soreness apparently that's why he collapsed like he had a concussion well, they're funny because uh, in the interview with Chris Long, they're like, did you see uh, Tua get hit in the back? And he's all, I mean, the back of the head. <laughs> he's like, yeah. And he's like, yeah. He's like, Somet-. And they're like, uh, sometimes you do. You, you hurt your back so much. You can't, you know, you wobble and you, and you can't walk. Mm-hmm. I've been um, there. But it looked like a concussion, you know. Mm-hmm. And they're, they're, there's like an investigation into it right now, so. They said when he fell, he was speaking in tongues, so. I think he's probably he speaking was- some, Samoan. He's all, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I'm okay, coach. Put me back in. <laughs> but yeah, to, uh, I mean, he did okay. Yep. He, he didn't do great, but got you a touchdown at 186 yards. Yeah. I needed more. Waddle. Um, Waddle needs to be in the lineup every week. So I think it's, I would say it's his connection with Waddle, but I think it's more of the people, you know, they're, if good defenses are going to shut somebody down, it's going to be Hill. Because that's what they're going to put all their effort into. So yeah, I think Waddle. I mean, he, not, he might not have the ceiling of uh, Hill, even though last week says otherwise. But yeah, um, yeah. I mean, I would almost. I wish I could trade for Waddle, but nobody's going to give up Waddle right now, so it doesn't yeah. really matter. You're going to have to start him. He could put up number one uh, wide receiver one numbers right now. But you know, he had six targets. Hill had four targets. So not that big a difference in targets. And uh, then. Uh, I was going to say that uh, I wonder how many people pick up Moser this week and then Chase. I would have. And I think Chase is the one that got uh, both touchdowns. Well, one I or two dropped, touchdowns. Yeah, I dropped Edmonds because I'm, I'm, I've got good running back depth and I was just upset. Uh, Edmonds and I was wanting to pick up all these rookie wide receivers. But, like, uh, I was pretty upset with myself. And then I started looking. But then you look at the opportunities and stuff, dude. I don't know. If, I don't know. Until we see the Dolphins – commit to the run which is funny because uh coach that mcdaniels was the run coach in san francisco um i don't know how much they're going to actually be you know how much opportunity is going to be for dolphins running backs yeah i know i mean dude he averaged three yards of carry he had those two touchdowns but his usage was just not good and he, he only had one for six you know as far as pass it was catching pass catching so as the Edmonds, i was thinking about picking them up again now i'm just like ah I don't know, dude. Are you going to chase those touchdowns, you know? Because any other week, it's probably not going to be going there. Yep. And I love Mostert, dude. I mean, at least when you start Mostert, it's like he might have a 50-yard touchdown. I don't see Edmonds getting that. It looks like Edmonds will get the goal line. Yeah, and then on the other side, Devin Singletary did great. Uh, In the Um, passing, not the rushing, yeah. They they don't like running the ball there, but he did – what did he get? He had the uh, nine receptions off 11 targets. Yeah, I'd say Zach Moss actually ran the ball well, but he got all his yards on one play. So, mm-hmm. yeah, so, I mean, it seems like if you really want to be – it just – and I, I know James Cook got involved again, but not much. I'm waiting – if he ever hits the waivers, I'm still picking him up just for – based on principle. Yeah. Um, did you start Dawson Knox? No, I started uh, – Dick Ingram. Oh, good man, Adam. Well, but yeah, so Dawson Knox, he only had four targets, but that's because that's going to be, I mean, if you're starting Do- Dawson Knox and Gabe Davis or Gabe Davis, six, four to six targets is all you're asking for. 
yeah. um, but it just didn't pan, it just didn't pan out. So going forward, I would think that uh, the big takeaway is that McKenzie's kind of the big breakout in this game. And uh, Dolphins defense might be. Oh yeah, like something. right. No Dolphins defense because they had a great defense under. Um, not Todd Bowles. I can't remember his name. He was an awesome coach last year. He got fired for winning too many games or trying to win. Um, but that doesn't matter. Do you remember that dude? Do you remember he's suing the NFL? Yeah, uh, but I don't I remember, remember his name. I know I can't remember his name either. But he man, but they had an amazing defense last year, so that carried over. Um, so I'm, uh, I'm good on. That. What do you think? Okay. Yeah one one game I wanted to go get into. Might be a pretty short discussion is uh, the Buccaneers and the pack. Uh, I'm saying it again, you know, question is Tom Brady getting old. Uh, 31 for 42, 217, one touchdown. I mean, it is Tom Brady, so you expect magic. But Julio Jones, Mike Evans, Chris Godwin were out. And so yeah. Russell Gage had a step up, and he did. He did well. He had 12 receptions, 87 yards, one touchdown on 13 targets. That's what people wanted out of him in the preseason. Yeah, but I don't think that's going to last when his team comes back. So this is probably going to be a one-hit wonder. Yeah, I mean, um, for, I watched that game, and, dude, you could, like, somebody in the stands, like, could fart. And Tom Brady would fall over, dude. It is yeah. crazy. Yeah, it like, might be it might be time. It's finally getting getting up there. He is like, only week three, so we'll see. Well, it's like if he doesn't get rid of the ball immediately, he might as well just he, he might as well just lay down on the ground. He's got a lot on his mind. His, uh, the gazelle, dude. I mean, he's got a beautiful wife that's uh he just shows you things at home need to be good for you to be successful in other places sometimes. Mentally, yeah. Uh Even if you're that good. Romeo Dubs, Duobs, Dubs. I had him. Uh, I dropped him. They I drafted him. And then he goes and have eight catches for 71, 73 yards and got his first career touchdown. And you're just like. Yeah, you know what? I mean, yeah, that, was with Lazard, that was with Lazard playing. Yeah, Lazard got a touchdown too. Yeah, but Lazard doesn't look that great. I know he might be a little bit injured maybe, but. And Tanya, not, Tanya didn't look that great either. He got, I mean, he got seven targets, which is great. But yeah, dude, Romeo Dobbs, uh, and then Sammy Watkins just heading to the IR. So, yeah, I think that it, this is bad for this <laughs> poor is bad Sammy. For Aaron, yeah, this is bad for Aaron Rodgers. I know you own Aaron Rodgers. I'm thinking about dropping uh, Carson Wentz, and you might want to drop, you know, pick up Carson Wentz and drop Aaron Rodgers. It's crazy. But, dude, he just doesn't have anybody to throw it to. And we'll is see. it the way the defenses are playing him? Or, like – It's uh, – well, I mean, the last two games, uh, Rodgers got over 15 points, and that's more than what Wilson's given me. <laughs> yeah. Well, at least Wilson – there's hope for Wilson. Like, Wilson's got tons of weapons. Everything should be great for Wilson. It's just not happening. Yeah. Like – but, like, dude, Aaron Rodgers is just, like – Devontae Williams probably wishes he was on the Packers. Or, I mean, Devontae Adams probably wishes he was on the Packers. Yeah. After this last week. And uh, I mean, you can just really tell he's messing with them. Uh, Aaron Jones and A.J. Dillon both combined for 24 rushes and 98 yards with zero touchdowns. Yeah, I saw that they pretty much got the same work and the same yeah. results. Um, Aaron Jones had that fumble. But, like, uh, yeah, I mean, I didn't really expect much from these two anyways because of the Buccaneers' defense. Like yeah, the, their defense. The front seven is crazy. So, uh, did you notice that? I What I got out of this was that the Green Bay's defense is actually really good. Well, of course, they better be good with all those weapons not there. I know, but they held Fournette. You used, used to be able to run on Green Bay. They held Fournette to 2.9 yards of carry. Fournette's been killing it. Yeah. Well, I think you could pretty much stack the box when you don't when you're just worried about – Russell Gage. And I have a factoid. Um, All right. Head coach Todd Bowles says that they have to start playing other RBs, um, you know, White and Vaughn more, even if it means uh, getting Fournette, you know, not getting into his flow or whatever like he needs to. So Damn. because uh, they, he felt like Fournette was hampered by his injury there in that game. Mm -hmm. 
And he was just saying, we can't just wait till he goes off. We're going to start putting other people in there. That was a nice minty factoid. It's, it's all Reddit crap. It's all Reddit crap that I just pull off. It's well, it's from Twitter, but they post it on Reddit. Yeah. It's whatever. You're the new yeah, Adam Shuffler. Like, um, so you know, Brady got sacked three times. Aaron Rodgers. These are, these are the tales of going forward. Who would you rather have, Aaron Rodgers or Tom Brady? Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, I probably would as well. Um, well, we'll I see. see. I mean, Tom Brady looks old. He, he looks – this is the most aged he's looked behind there. I know he's missing some weapons, but even the previous two games, he's – Yeah, because if he looked the he same, looked he'd be making he'd – be, he'd still be throwing two or three touchdowns a game. Yeah, yeah. Because he oh, – to random people you never heard of. Now he's just like, I need Russell Gage. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, um, that wasn't great. Right now <laughs> I'm going with, uh, with Rodgers. Yeah, and if you want to drop Tanya and go chase somewhere else, but like it's Tan. I mean, just I mean, you know, Evan Ingram just had a stinker, so yeah. it is what it is. You want to go to that game, Jason, or do you want to? Uh, let's take a quick break, and then we'll come back with uh, two other games. Later. Ah. Part two coming Part up. Two, 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 two. Oh, two, two, two. <laughs> 